So this video is all about the moon transit journaling process. The majority of readers, practitioners, whatever you want to think of us as, will say that this is predominantly for reflectors. However, I think any of us with probably open centers need some kind of guide to help us tap into what is there for us and what's not there for us. We want to explore how and what it is that we're deconditioning. One of the consistencies in the transits that is easy to follow through and move through quite quickly is the moon. And so the sun moves through every gate through a full year. The moon moves through every gate in roughly a month. And so when we want to dive in deep and quick, the moon is a great place to start. And we're not going to look at every gate to start with. We're simply going to look at those that create channels. So on the screen, you can see my genetic matrix lunar month transit view, which is in essence, the moon transits for the month of February. And on this chart, you can see a number of things. So at the top, you've got a little key. And if you hover over them, which you won't be able to see on the screen because I'm going to just put up a static slide. But if you hover over them, you'll find that they tell you they are the green is the channel created by the moon. The yellow is the gate activated by the moon transit. And the orange is the foundation gate or channel, meaning that it comes from your chart. So if you look at mine, the first highlighted line, the gate in column one, two, three, four, five. So your daytime date, center gate. And like I said, date, gate, date and gate, I'm tripping my brain right now. All right, so we've got day, time. So the day is the what day it is of the month. The time is the time and the time zone can change. So just make sure you've got it set to your own time zone. Mine is set to UTC plus 11, which is Sydney time in daylight savings time. So that's my time zone. Then we've got the date, the center that it's coming from, the gate, which is, you'll see it's either yellow or orange all the way down that line or all the way down that column. Then we've got the harmonious gate. Then we've got, I don't know what ACT stands for, though what we worked out is that these letters, so D, J, and P, are our design, our personality, and joint. And then you've got the channel that it's activating, the type of channel, the circuitry. I'm not going to go into that right now because it's in another video. By all means, look up the other video. And then the gate name. So that gate name is referring to the first gate highlighted in yellow. So for example, on day three, 1344, 3rd of February route, the first orange highlight. We've got gate 53, harmony 42. It is a design gate for me. The channel is maturation. The type is generator, the circuitry is abstract, and the gate name is development. So for me, that is 5342 is a consistent channel. So any of the orange ones are a channel that is consistent in your access. Any of the green ones are the ones that are being brought to life through the transit. So the white ones aren't really worth paying attention to. You, you can tune into them, though if they're not activating the channel or they're not coming off at a find center, you're probably going to struggle to tap into the energy of them. And then what this allows us to do is to start connecting with the energy in our body, start tuning into what we're feeling, what the energy flow and what the variations in our energy is. And that's normal. So anyone that comes with a view that this inconsistency is bad is going to struggle. When we can accept that there is inconsistencies in our energy, this is where we start to truly live a life we love because we know there are some days. So let's see if I can see an ego one. Ego, ego, ego. What are they calling it? They must be calling it heart. So my motivation is inconsistent. I'm just going to see, because there will be one, control F, but one, two, 
So there are four gates coming off the heart. There is the first one right on the page in front of me. I don't need to scroll at all. So if we look at line, so it's day seven, time is 1945, the 7th of February, the heart, which is one of my undefined centers, also known as the ego, just to be clear. So it's worth knowing what they're referring to. So 40 comes to life through the moon and it connects with my gate 37, which gives me the channel of community and the gate name is deliverance. So for me, one of my inconsistencies is my motivation. But on the 7th of February at 1945 in Sydney, Eastern Australian time, gate 40 and 37 will come together and I'll get, and, and that one's probably not going to serve me particularly well because it's coming in like 8 p.m. at night and it disappears by 7 a.m. in the morning. So whether I leverage that and utilize that or not, we'll see. Often I notice, though, at the moment I'm getting insomnia again, and generally it's because there's a gate active in the moon that is influencing me. So it's coming in at 2 a.m. and I'm awake by 3 or 4. So it'll be interesting for me to tune in and see, okay, so how does this impact my motivation? Does it does it spur me into insomnia and enough to drive me into insomnia, or does it simply just move past but I want to check in at around 8 p.m. on the 7th and any other times that I'm awake, I want to check in again at whatever time I wake up. How is that influencing me and my energy? And I'll do a reflection on that. You've seen or you've got the opportunity, if you haven't yet, you can see my Monday morning musings where I look at the entire week. My invitation to you is to do this daily or at least on the days where there is the green highlights so you don't have to do this every day just the days where there's the green highlights so for me the month of february the fourth has two gates being activated both from the throat one is in the middle of the night so 2352 i'm probably not going to notice that one unless it wakes me up or potentially has me talking in my sleep we'll see how that plays out the other one that comes in at 12 30 the curiosity the Wanderer, and that's gate 56. So gate 56 is one of my favorite gates, particularly at the moment because it's creating a bridge for the split definition that I'm feeling. So tapping into that, it'll play out that way, curiosity, and it's a storytelling uh, gate that comes in at that point. So allowing yourself to move through this, if you want to understand yourself more deeply, you want to connect to the consistencies through an entire month. So on a daily level, I've got inconsistencies where we created the day and the week as what's meant to be consistent drives me insane. For those of us with open centers, particularly a lot of open centers and tapping into the ebb and flow of life, looking at an entire month is key. And I've been doing that for a long time with my menstrual cycle and reflecting on my menstrual cycle. What I've noticed with reflecting on my menstrual cycle, which I've been doing for seven years, maybe. So 2015, I started really paying attention to and tracking. My husband had been tracking it for a lot longer than that, though there are inconsistencies in my menstrual cycle. And what I'm realizing now is that those inconsistencies in energy, despite the consistency of the hormones, so partly my inconsistency right now is that I don't have consistency in hormones. Even when I had consistency in hormones going back a couple of years before I hit this perimenopause stage, there were inconsistencies in the energy. So I'd wake up some days on day one and I would be absolutely on fire. And other days I'd wake up on day one and it wouldn't be as intense. And what I'm realizing now is it was the gates. So while these flow fairly consistently, it was 29 days on this chart, 15 is the last gate that I can see at the bottom, it is pretty much that 28 day cycle. Now, when my menstrual cycle is 28 days, that probably works quite nicely. My menstrual cycle is not normally 28 days, which is where there is this tiny shift each month to have slightly different experiences. It was a level of consistency and I appreciated that level of consistency. And then over time, and particularly at the moment when my cycle is a lot more irregular, and my cycle is no longer 28, 29 days. It's closer to anywhere between 17 and 35 days just to give me something interesting to play with. Those inconsistencies have shifted. Now, what will be consistent is the moon transiting through the transits. And so if you're looking for consistency in your inconsistencies, 
If you're looking for your pattern in your inconsistencies, then this journaling exercise, this journaling reflection is for you. And like I said, it's fairly simple. Open up Genetic Matrix and download your Lunar Month Transit View. There's a download option. You can download it as a JPEG, a PDF, or export it to Excel. What I'll note, when it exports to Excel, it doesn't take the colors. So my recommendation is actually to have it as a PDF so that you maintain or JPEG, so you maintain the colors. PDF is probably your best format, though. And then open it daily and just look. And so you can look at the entire transits. And if you're up to that, great. If you're finding that too overwhelming, start with the moon and just look at, okay, what's the moon doing today? So today is the 2nd of the 2nd, 2023. And so the 15 and 52 are active. Now, neither of them create a channel. I could explore them or I can look and go, okay, so I might explore some not self themes from the G self or the root, depending on my mood. Or I might just go, okay, nothing's being activated. What am I noticing in my body? Is there anything else coming through one of the other energies? I might look to the larger transits or I might just write down a note. Okay, so there's this kind of energy in me today. I'm not correlating that necessarily to the moon. Now, both my G self and my root are defined. And so with the active gates coming, or with the gates coming off a defined center, there will be potentially some energy coming through in them. Without the complete channel, probably not a huge amount. So I may explore them a little bit. Now, if you're looking for a guide on the gates, let me know and just head back to the reference section of, if you're watching this in the Create a Life You Love with Human Design course, head to the reference section. You'll find plenty of references on the gates and what I recommend and what's my most current and what I recommend depending on your own preferences. So there are some that are more story-based and there are some that are more logical-based and there are some that are a combination of both and give you the best of both worlds. So depending on your style, you'll find your recommendation. And if you're watching this on my YouTube channel, then I'll pop a link somewhere to reach out to me and ask the question and help me understand what are your needs in the gates? What are you looking for? Are you a more story-based person? Are you a more logical person? Help me out a little bit to give you a recommendation that is going to be appropriate for you. And so that would be what I'd go to. I would go to my references on 15 and 52 today and just tap into them. Then tomorrow, the third, again, it's not a real great day for me to be reflecting. So I've got the 39, which is coming off a defined route. So potentially I'd go down that path or I've got my channel and I can go down connecting with my own channel. So throughout the month, you'll get through every one of your channels and diving deeper and giving yourself the space for reflection. So by the time you've done this for two or three months, you will have gone through the entire wheel two or three times and allow yourself to understand what is consistent in you? What is inconsistent in you? What happens when those inconsistencies become consistent? So for me, for example, the heart, I will probably feel the motivation center kicking in. So there's two channels that will kick that in and two that won't for me. So the heart only has four. So the 4037 is going to my heart or my ego center. The 2644 is the other one that will activate it so the 26 coming in to the moon won't do anything because i have the 26 but the 44 coming in will create an activation and they're going to show up differently so if i search this for 44 or search this for 26 so what you'll see and i'll make sure i share this on the screen the 26 is coming in on the 15th but it doesn't it's not highlighted for me if we look for the next 26, there it is sitting there with the 44 on the 12th. I don't know why that was the next one as opposed to the, oh, because it's across in a column. <laughs> All right. I understand the search engine now. So because, and so it's not showing as the heart center there, it's showing as the splenic center. However, the 26 is the heart center. And so tapping into it on that day, it will connect. So the 44 26 channel will define my heart center. This is getting a little bit more geeky. If you want to understand a little bit more, come to this with a Q&A question. If come to this, come to a Q&A call with this. If you are in the Create a Life You Love program, 
then you can just bring it to a Q&A call. The schedule for that is at the top of the program. Just go and find out when it is or send me a message and I'll let you know when the next Q&A call is and what times they are so that we can make sure you're getting along to those and taking advantage of those while you're in the course. If you are not in the Create a Life You Love with the Human Design course, then book a Q&A call. There will be a link for that below. We can look at two or three questions that you have about your chart in 30 minutes and then we can talk about whether the Create a Life You Love with Human Design course is a good fit for you if you've got more than two or three questions and more that you want to explore. That may be the easiest and most cost-effective way for you to get those answers. Otherwise, we can look at working together one-on-one. -on -one. So that's enough, I think, for you to get on with this. Again, the steps are simple. Step one, download the genetic matrix chart. Step two, Pay attention to those green lines that are coming through and the orange lines and allow yourself to move through your chart and the impact of the moon transits on you through the month, bringing consistency to your inconsistencies in those moments and enjoy. If you've got any questions, pop them down below or send me a message on Facebook. The link for that will be below. I look forward to Hearing from those of you in the Create a Life You Love Using Human Design course, what it is you discover about yourself, about the transits, about the energy flowing through you. What are the consistencies in your inconsistencies? Have a great day. See you soon. Bye.